Hey everyone, it's Brick Power Build and I'm here with a brand new Avengers Infinity War set. Finally, finally out. Yes, finally. And today I got the 76101 Outrider Dropship Attack. Been really excited for this set. Really, really good set. And let's dive right into the minifigs. So I'm going to do it, if you remember my old reviews, I used to pick up the minifig and show it with my hand, but then I moved on and started using a stand. Well, guess what, I'm going back to the normal routine where I will show the minifig because it makes it easier to record instead of me stopping, moving all the way, get the minifig. It just makes life, it just makes it so much easier, so I'm going to do that right now. Start with this new version of Captain America, and he looks... He looks great. Love that new hair piece. Oh, and no, it's not really new, but I love the color on it. I love the new face print with the beard and all that. New torso print, which is also great. I would have liked some printing on the legs. I think that would have been good. Got nice claw pe these claw pieces. If you see from the trailer. Let me look at the back. Everyone's got, it's got a little smile and then kind of a serious. I don't know why they added that smile, probably to make it funny, but I still get confused. Great minifig, just a bit confused on that smiling face. Now we've got a new version of Black Widow, and this another great minifig. Now she has printing on the legs, but I don't know why Captain America doesn't. The nice printing, black printing there. I'm pretty sure from the TV spot trailer, I think, you see on Black Widow and she's wearing this outfit. Except this torso is supposed to be darker green, I think, not this kind of sand green. I think it's supposed to be dark green, but that's, but I think that's might have been a little mistake. Using lightsaber hilts as kind of weapons. Her blonde hair, I think it's not supposed to be this blonde, I I don't think so, because it's a bit too bright. I don't think it's supposed to be this. I don't know. If I go to the face, it's just Genoso's face. But So yeah, that's Black Widow. Now we'll get to the Outriders, and these dudes are really cool. Using this new piece with the four arms. Love that screaming face. Great torso print. Great torso print. Great minifig. Wish there was printing on the legs, but this back thing was also used for the Iron Spider, so that's cool. And also it comes with printing the, on the back of the torso. And of course this is a battle pack, and they want you to make an army. We get two Outriders in this set. Both exactly the same, but really cool minifigs to have. Now let's move on to the Lego set. And when I went, meant by Lego set, I meant the vehicle, and I gotta admit, this vehicle is actually much better than I anticipated it to be. It looked kind of small, but it, when you build it, it's actually pretty bigger than I expected. It, it's it's kind of a dropship thing to carry these Outriders. I put one of them in, and put the other one in also, which is, I really like how you can actually put both minifigs in. That, that was a key thing, because usually these kind of sets, they can't put all the characters in that they need to but if we start from the front here using two clear blue glass windows and they also got studs so of course you know what they are they just shoot like that but we take a look at this oh yeah this set i think has five stickers yeah it's got five stickers it's a bit annoying but you get what you get yeah i don't like it how it has five stickers but it's fine but you got a nice build here more stickers there, just give you a 360 degree turn, and then you can open these, and then these, and just where you can put the minifigs in, so if you want to say put one minifig in, put the arms out like this, put the four arms like that, fits nicely in there, they stand up, so that, I like how they're actually standing up, because it makes it easier to get them out and get them into battle, instead of you know, when they're sitting down, so I really like that. But if we take both of them out, you can see what's in there. Just simple 
quite simple. It's just simple in that, but looks nice. Got a sticker right there. We also got the Infinity Gem. And it's good that they come with three more. So just in case if you lose one. And if you get all six Infinity sets, you can put them on the Infinity Gauntlet. And my goal is to get all six. I'm planning on to. I'm just really excited for this wave. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this set. Now let's get to the box. Okay, here is the box of the set. And it's actually... Well, you know, same size as usual battle battle pack because this is a a battle pack. Compare this to a Star Wars one. If you compare this to a Star Wars one, it is a bit bigger. It's also a bit bulky. I'm surprised how big it is for a battle pack. But I just, you know, just compared it with uh, first order battle pack because this is supposed to be a battle pack, and people do call it a battle pack. Because you're supposed to build armies. I'm planning on getting a second one this year. Just to get more awareness. But this just shows what it has in this. Yeah. So now let's get to the instructions. Okay, here are the instructions. And they kind of moved um, Black Widow a bit. So if you can tell here, she's over there now and not over there. So yeah, they kind of moved her. And same with the sets, actually. They moved that set. But, a bit weird, but, you know, but let's we get to the back of it, which shows the interesting things. Get, well, they're only showing three sets. Um, Out of the three of them, I'm more excited about the Hulkbuster. Kind of excited about that. I heard the build for that is actually pretty cool. And that set I'm excited about. I, I think all the sets are great. But here it is. All the set numbers for all the Infinity Stones. I've got the very first one. So, yeah, I said I'm... Planning on getting all of them, if I can. Probably the last one is probably going to take me the longest, but yeah. But now, let's get to the final part of the video. So overall, I really do like this set. It's a nice small battle pack. You get two Avengers characters, which are brand new, and you get two Outriders. If you want to make an Outrider army, get a nice build. Good value for the minifigs. I definitely recommend this if you're on which set you want to get first just to give a the wave a go i recommend this set as the first one to get because it's cheap and you get a fair bit of things in this cheap set so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it give this video a like if you really liked it and want to see more subscribe to the to, to the channel and comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video